Russia on Earth has fallen under the yoke of tyranny, the metric system. From Beijing to Buenos Aires, from Lusaka to London, the people of the world have been forced to measure their environment in millimeters and kilograms. The United States is the only major country that has resisted, but we have no reason to be ashamed for using feet and pounds. So says new Criterion editor James Panero. We spoke with him recently. I'm joining you so tonight. As, I'm joining you tonight as an anti-metrite. I'm taking a stand against the metric system, the original system of global revolution and new world orders. God bless you. That's ex and that's exactly what it is. Esperanto died, but the metric system continues. This weird, utopian inelegant, creepy system that we alone have resisted. How long can we hold out against it, would you say? Well, today, as you mentioned, the United States stands nearly alone in the world in maintaining customary measures. The inch, the pound, the foot, the mile. And we should stand tall on our own two feet, I say, because it was customary measures that measured out the Industrial Revolution and customary measures that took us to the moon the metric system, meanwhile, is the product of the French Revolution. It was imposed at the business end of the guillotine. So why are our leaders so anxious that we join the rest of the world in using, you know, Robespierre's favorite standard of measurement? I don't understand. Well, that's right, because it's assumed to be progressive. It's assumed that everyone has gotten behind it. Uh, let me take you back to a bit of history. 1793, the height of the French Revolution, the height of the French terror, the Jacobins deposed the pied de roi, that's the foot of the king, the measurement of France, and replaced it with the meter. Now, all customary measures use man and his labor as the basis of its measurement. What's an acre? It's the amount of land that a yoke of oxen can till in one day. A mile comes from right. Mille Passes, or 5,000 paces, a um, 1,000 paces at 5 feet each. A meter is what? It's an abstract division of the globe that isn't even accurate. So, it's, it's completely made up out of nothing. It's totally made up. And, here, and here's something else. Even worse than overturning custom has been the meter's imposition of 10. It's a 10-size fits-all mentality. Now, here's how it gets crazy. The French Revolution went all in for 10. They try to impose a 10-day week, 100 hours, yes. 100 minutes, 100 seconds. They had a whole revolutionary calendar. Now, the metric system with its tens is what remains of their radicalism. Now, that sounds reasonable. Actually, counting by 10 is pretty good. We have 10 fingers. You can count your money in 10. It's good for abstract right. calculations. It's not great for measuring things in the real world. There's a reason why our measurement system has 12s, 8s, and 60s. It comes from ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom, from the Romans, 12, from the Babylonians, 60. Why? Because those numbers divide up evenly into thirds, fourths, halves, and enables common people to make calculations and to measure their lives without complex arithmetic. What's a third of a foot? It's four inches. What's a third of a meter? 33.3 something centimeters. It doesn't even add up. You see the problem right there? I do, I do see the problem, and I've never heard it as eloquently expressed as you just did. I think you give a lot of us heart to keep fighting against the, the, the global tyranny of the metric system, and bless you for that. Well, thank you. You know, our system is quaint, but it's ours. It connects us to our ancestors through cups, through teaspoons and tablespoons. I can still cook the recipes of my grandparents, and it's that exactly. connection to the past that the French Revolution and the revolutionaries have always tried to destroy. Yeah, I'll accept the kilometer when we accept the euro. Never. Thanks very much. Good to All see right. you. All right, thank you, Tucker.